Welcome to this short video which hopefully will answer the question, is Daniel Boone my cousin? This old legend has been circulating in the family for decades and now it's time to prove it. I realize that he probably has thousands of cousins, but I'm just interested in finding out if I'm one of them. Let's start at the very beginning. Here I am in my salad days on the left, and here is my mother on the right, Edith Myra Johns. We had always been told that we were related to Daniel Boone through her side of the family. Here is her mother, my Granny Johns, Edith Hughes Johns. Here are my maternal great-grandparents, Granny Johns' parents, Franklin Forsyth Hughes, and his wife, Myra Rose Wright Hughes. I started by doing a little bit of research and learned that Daniel Boone's father was named Squire Boone I and his grandfather was named George Boone III, born in 1666. Now, to make a pretty long story short, I jumped on Ancestry.com and created the Reed Aspland family tree. Here is what that tree looks like, at least the first part of it. Let's follow the Hughes line back in time. Here I am, and here is my mother, Edith Myra Johns, and here is her mother, my granny, Edith Myra Hughes, and here is her father, Franklin Forsyth Hughes. Here are Franklin Forsyth Hughes' parents, James Spalding Hughes and Matilda Willits Hughes. Yes, a Hughes married a Hughes. I am going to cut to the chase and tell you that we are going to follow the Matilda Willits Hughes line back in time. Here is Matilda's father, George Hughes, born 1808, and his father, Joseph Anthony Hughes, born 1781. And over here we see George Hughes, born 1743, the father of Joseph. Oh look, George was married to Martha Boone. She is the first Boone to show up in my family tree. It is my belief that there were three marriages between Hughes's and Boone's. Now on to George's father, John Hughes, who married Hannah Boone. And there is James Boone, the father of Martha. Hannah Boone's father was George Boone, born 1690. And his father was George Boone III, born 1666. Here is a summary of that Hughes line from my family tree that we just discussed. There I am at the bottom, then my mother, then my grandmother, then her father Franklin Forsyth Hughes, and then his mother Matilda Willits Hughes, her father George Hughes, born 1808, his father Joseph Anthony Hughes, born 1781, his father, George Hughes, born 1743. His mother, Hannah Boone Hughes, born 1718. Her father, George Boone IV, born 1690. And his father, George Boone III, born 1666. Please recall that George Boone III, born 1666, is the grandfather of Daniel Boone. George Boone III is my 8th great grandfather. The next thing I did was jump on the internet to use the cousin calculator. I punched in the information. I am the 8th great grandchild of this ancestor, and my relative, in this case Daniel Boone, is the grandchild of that same relative. This means that Daniel Boone is my first cousin, 8 times removed. For a while, I got stuck trying to prove to myself beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was related to Daniel Boone. The problem was that I couldn't prove that Joseph A. Hughes was in fact the son of George Hughes, born 1743. Thank goodness my genealogy genius brother-in-law, Phil Farrar, came to the rescue and helped me out. The first thing we did was look at the Quaker meeting records on Ancestry.com. Here is Joseph Anthony Hughes, and up here is his father, George Hughes. Notice that this record book identifies George Hughes' parents as John Hughes and Hannah Boone. 
Thank you very much, Quakers, and your record books. Next, Phil taught me about a relatively new feature on Ancestry.com called Through Lines. If you submit your DNA to Ancestry.com, this part of their website will help you trace people to whom you are related by DNA. We did this with my fifth grade grandfather, George Hughes, and I found that I have 15 DNA cousins on Ancestry.com who are descended from Daniel Boone relatives as well as I. This proved it beyond any doubt whatsoever. So now I am convinced beyond any doubt that I am in fact related to Daniel Boone. I first figured this out about a year ago and everything was going along fine until this guy posed a question to me. He said, you know, there are a bunch of people in Bryn Athen who are also relatives of Daniel Boone. You know, your Hughes line comes from Canada and these same other people in Bernathan also have a Hughes in their family tree who came from Canada. I wonder if you all might be related. Please watch my next video, which will explain how I found so many long lost cousins, many of whom live right close by in Bernathan.